take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. On the touch settings screen, scroll down until you see the back tap option, then tap it. In back tap settings, you have a choice of assigning the screenshot action to either two taps, double tap, or three taps, triple tap, on the back of the case. Select the option you'd like. Point one nine September 2020. Let's help you make your mark. There's no option to remap the power button though, it's just not possible on Android. To change what a button does, tap on it then pick your preferred function. Available options include going to the home screen, going back a screen, returning to the last app, taking a screenshot and turning the flashlight on point two two May 2019. Let's help you make your mark. With the beta installed, tap the menu icon in the top right corner, then go to settings, accounts and privacy. Near the bottom of the page is a button labeled edit and share screenshots. Turn it on. You might see a prompt the next time you take a screenshot, which will ask if you want to turn on the new feature point two zero February 2018. Take our lead. Press the side button and the volume up button at the same time. Quickly release both buttons. After you take a screenshot, a thumbnail temporarily appears in the lower left corner of your screen. Point 23 April 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. What to do if your iPhone is taking screenshots randomly? The cause behind the issue is the back tap feature using which one can double or triple tap the back of the iPhone to open up control center, trigger accessibility specific actions and much more. This can also, of course, be used to take a screenshot point one four December 2020. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.